Hey, welcome back to Make My Way to Van Life. Um, just to kind of show you some of the tools I do have. I uh, went and got them all out. Uh, a lot of them are tools that I keep in my van. Uh, because I expect to be making this build very soon. Uh, I need some organization bins. Um, I need some couple extra places to put things. Uh, I know me and my girlfriend will probably be traveling together and uh, I'm probably gonna have to make some sort of bed that will fold into one. Um, I've seen those videos on YouTube but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some of these items that I already have. So here you can see I have a Boztec 300 watt power inverter, has your on and off switch, has two plug-ins plus two USBs. That light turns on red when you use it. Over here I have a number of drill bits. Uh, I got this kit from Walmart. Luckily, it came with a couple of extra little bits. So that was nice. This here, I really love. Um, put that on any tool you have. Uh, screwdriver. And uh, really makes it nice if you need to get in those hard places. Um, now, I will be installing a Max Air fan in the roof. So I expect these Milwaukee drills to be put to good use. Um, as you can see, I love my knives. I love my flashlights. Um, I have this kit here. This is a little ratchet set. And uh, you just change that each direction. And then you can attach all of those different bits uh, to make it work for you. Um, over here, we have what is your standard wire stripper. Um, this will come in handy uh, when I rig anything for my battery bank for my 12 volt accessories. Um, but uh, it's a really nice tool to have. Um, you can also see I have a hand crimping tool which usually goes for these items. And these items are typically used on solar, if I'm correct. Uh, but it will crimp these items to where uh, you won't have any wire sticking out. Uh, obviously, I mentioned in my previous videos about getting my AC fixed. So, uh, that'll be fixed very soon. Um, you see here, you also have a wire crimper set. Comes with a number of uh, attachments there to make things easy when I do that. I do have, let's see here, this boss, um, which is used for a car audio, but uh, it's a fuse box. I'm not sure quite the amperage on there, but I'm sure it'll be put to good use. Um, as you know, you always want to have one of these. It works. It's lasted a long time. Uh, turn that off. Uh, again, if I end up screwing into the roof of this fan to put a Max, Fair, Max Air fan or uh, one of the other brands in, I'll be using those titanium nitrate uh, speed drill bits. Um, we have your basic tool kits here. Let's see if I can do it without making a mess today. I cleaned up the mess I made yesterday. Um, so I have basically every size you'll need there. Um, and then our small kit 
you always want to have extra ratchets extra ratchets <laughs> but uh, this one works just as well and works great now inside of these boxes I have been collecting things my whole life uh, call me a hoarder call me what you will but I have uh, tools for rogue kits air pumps hangers stuff like that you have your uh, uh, stuff for water pump sealants things of that nature your extra size extensions we got some lug nuts in case any fall off on the road this here very important kit uh, that way you can plug your own tire you don't have to pay 50 bucks and I did have all of this stuff labeled but uh, a lot of its miscellaneous uh, but you can see there's grommets in there um, things you can use for the build itself uh, this is a package of any extra wrenches or inserts um, or screwdrivers, anything extra. Let's see what else. Uh, we have a lot of tiny screws and plugs and uh, extensions and let's see. More grommets, magic marker, stuff like that. So let's put all this back in here. And this is a little kit that came with screws. And uh, as you can tell, the, uh, the screws on, on that give you the sizes. And that'll come in handy eventually. Um, over here and this let's see gotta have your zip ties always need your zip ties and then you have your little extra you know screwdrivers attachments to make sure things hold on uh, snippers um, really large wrenches and uh, about everything you need there so, there is also another kit back here uh, full of, you know, screwdrivers, lug nuts, bolts, things you'll use in the future. Uh, but I uh, just wanted to give you an idea of everything I've started to accumulate. And uh, one thing I did mention, a great tow hitch a tie down strap uh looks like low capacity uh it's like two and a half tons uh or two tons at least so that's a good thing to help you get out of a tight spot now my van does come with the jack which i am going to eventually uh install that but as far as where I'm at now and what I need to do next, uh, I think the next item is going to be um, putting in a max air fan. And that means cutting into my roof. So let's just take a look at the roof. So the roof already has racks on it. The max air fan I'm assuming, based on where we would sleep, we'd probably go right here at the end. Uh, if we faced our feet towards the front. Now, that leaves me plenty of room for solar. Uh, and plenty of room to put luggage up top. So it makes it super nice if you're traveling across country. Um, and you want to do those things. Uh... This windshield, it's been replaced, so it's in fairly good shape. The wipers need a little bit of love and attention. But, uh, like I said, the tires, they're brand spanking new. So, 
Uh, one thing I will be doing is uh, replacing some inner and outer tire rods. But uh, just goes to show you that with any type of van, uh, you can do it. And, uh, you know, in the comment section, if you'd like to add uh, any ideas you have, uh, anything you think would make this build better, let me know. Um, of course, another little knife. I just love knives. Can't help it. But, um, yeah, if you have anything you would like to add in the comment section, let me know. I am debating on whether to uh, pull out the interior uh, and insulate it. I do want to go up north to British Columbia. See if this is unlocked. This will kind of give you an idea. We have our cigarette lighter plug-ins, uh, which my inverter has been plugged into and used there. And then, of course, I have a jumper box, which probably need to charge that back up. Um, but, yeah trash can don't believe in throwing things outside on the ground want to keep mother earth clean and uh please hit like and subscribe you all have a great day